looking for a book for his daughter. And he had no idea what book it was. Just that it had a character named Lucy. That's it, huh? Yeah. I spent 20 minutes looking through the store trying to find it, and he just started admiring covers. It's like he wasn't even paying attention to me, like I wasn't even there. And finally, I went upstairs and I tried to find the book, and when I came back down... Cool. But what they should have done is made a Robin movie with Joseph Gordon-Levitt. A Robin movie? Yeah. You know that's what they should have done. Everybody wants to see a Robin movie. I'm sorry, can you hang on for one second? They wouldn't have named him Robin if they were- Excuse me, I couldn't help but overhear you guys were discussing the ending to The Dark Knight Rises? Yeah, I was just explaining how instead of starting over with a new Batman in this Batman vs. Superman movie, what they should have done is continued making Joseph Gordon-Levitt Robin. Ah, well you see your argument is invalid. Invalid? Yeah, see they didn't have Joseph Gordon-Levitt set up to be Robin, they set him up to be the next Batman. What? How do you think? Oh, let me count the ways. Number one, revealing the fact that his character John Blake was born with the name Robin is simply an homage to the fact that Batman had a sidekick, which, when you think about it, is really just the role that John Blake was playing in the movie anyway. They didn't even put him in a costume for him to play the sidekick, he was already doing it. Metaphorically speaking, Batman had a Robin in John Blake. Um, hello? While we're on the topic of the costume, let's bear in mind the fact that John Robin Blake would not have access to the Wayne Enterprises technology that Bruce Wayne did. He would literally only have the Batcave and everything that's within it at the end of the movie, nothing more. Which isn't even that much. The Batmobile was destroyed in the Dark Knight, and the Bat Hovercraft blew up at the end of Rises. I doubt Selena Kyle returned the Batpod motorcycle. Now, how's a guy who just quit taking in a cop salary going to afford this expensive prototype suit just to paint it red and put a little R on? He's gonna wear whatever's in the cave. Seriously? Then there's this little thing called the, um, uh, Bat Signal. You see, at the end of, uh, Rises, you have Commissioner Gore, and he's at the roof of Gotham PD, and he sees this fully restored Bat Signal. Bat Signal. Not this Schumachered up Robin signal that Chris O'Donnell got for, like, five seconds. Can you even imagine the cops trying to wrap their heads around that one? I mean, Commissioner, we need the bird superhero. Well, shine the giant light of the bat up in the sky. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> Another? What else you got? Let's go back to one major theme, harking all the way back to Batman Begins, where Bruce Wayne becomes Batman to be a symbol. He spends an entire scene in Rises imparting this knowledge to John Blake, the next Batman, that Batman could be anybody. I mean, come on. Batman's been portrayed by several other characters over the course of the years. You have Jean-Paul Valley, Dick Grayson, Superman, Terry McGinnis, Batman's own son, Damien. I mean, come on, Batman could be anybody. It's not just Bruce Wayne. Now, let's look at the last shot of the movie. What happens? Blake goes into the Batcave, onto the platform with the Bat computer, and it rises up. Cut to title, The Dark Knight Rises! John Blake, the next Dark Knight, Rising. They did everything but tell you that's what was going on. Invalid. This is ridiculous. You're telling me. But Joseph Gordon-Levitt could totally carry a superhero movie. I know, right? He's awesome. Dude, yes. You saw Looper, right? Have I seen it? I Joseph Gordon-Levitt. He's well on his way to being the next big name in Hollywood, and I would certainly love to see him in more nerdy flicks. But if they were going to continue with the Christopher Nolan movies, he would be Batman, not Robin. Now, if you'll excuse me, gentlemen, I have to get back to my date. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Woo! Rachel? Rachel? Well, first day! Rachel!